good afternoon everyone so today i'm gonna go over a cage that i had originally built for my quails um this was probably like five years ago and it's come a long way now the only thing i have here is rats because i have two ball pythons uh so instead of buying you know rats every time i need some you know i have my own uh so i sort of built it back so you get the idea of how it used to look um so for starters the floor uh or the base of the cage itself um this is not wood it's like the drain sewer pipes um and the reason for it is because if you've had birds or any pets outside you know that mice and rats will find a way to get in there so by having this as the footing or the base of the the cage uh, rats cannot climb onto this they can't um, but since I moved it here they have started climbing through my tree so climb through my tree and they'll hop over and that's a different story but if you just have this by itself you know rats and mice will not get into your cage so now this was the bottom of the quail where they used to you know uh, stand on it might be kind of hard to see but this is you know it's slanted so whenever they you know laid an egg in here it would eventually roll and I had a little basket in the very front and it would catch all the eggs uh, it was pretty cool so instead of having to open the doors to get the eggs um, the eggs would be right here and that was pretty cool um, alright so this was the water setup before um, it's pretty cool because every time they would peck right here you know the water used to be connected uh, but I you know I now use it for the rats so it's a different uh, I don't want to call it a nipple but a different um, water supply so I mean it still works hopefully I don't make a mess see there we go let me put it back real quick there, there you go and that's it so all I had to do was take this off and you know connect it to there and that was it so I didn't have to worry about watering them every single time and if you had a pet before um, you know that water is important because sometimes you'll forget or they'll finish the water before you even know it and then you're like oh man I gotta feed my I gotta give my animals water so here we go so when the door was closed it's like that so a lot of ventilation uh, has ventilation from the sides as well uh, it was pretty protected but at night I had an extra sort of protection for them especially when I you know got my quells they're still babies so I had walls you know or the wood like this on all sides so at night I would close them you know during the daytime I would leave them open and it was pretty cool so as you can see there is no latch to connect it you know I just put this as a prop for now because you know it used to be there there was another 2x4 that went from here all the way across uh, but here we go this is the way that I would you know keep the door closed I drilled a hole from here all the way down to that side so when I had to lock it just put it in there it ain't going nowhere uh, pretty cool so this when I would close it um, it would have a lock right here just something to you know keep it in place similar to this one right here there was another door right here that would close it and lock it in place so the water system here is the water system if well let me back up a bit the water system actually starts in the ground I connected it to you know where the water hose goes but it's at the bottom it goes in through this pipe oh there see you can barely see it you can see it right here and it goes all the way up I have this wall up here so it can protect 
the the water so it doesn't heat up you can see where the water spigot you know on and off little switch is at and then it goes in comes out right there and if you look closely this is very very similar to the one in your toilet when the water level drops that little bobber or floating thing will sink down causing the i don't know what it's called that little lever thing to open up so this is always filled with water always filled with water and you don't have to worry about watering your animals and before this was connected to a different you know water system for the quails for the birds uh, but now that you got rats you know they drink from it um so i ran out of rat food i ended up you know for now giving them dog food it'll serve the purpose you know no worries you know there we go all right so what's next what's next oh yeah food so oh, so really quick now it's a completely different setup but i am gonna probably get quells back um i don't know but soon i i do like having the quells um so the only reason i got the rats because i had a snake so food system on this side is where i had the their food there was one on top and one at the bottom pretty easy uh, i would just open it throw food in there it goes in and oops there it is so food will come out here so I don't have to, so the main thing that I wanted to do was I didn't want to keep opening and closing the door and then, you know, sometimes the birds do escape and you know, it happens. Then you gotta chase them around, make sure your dogs don't eat them. Uh, so this setup, once it was sealed, I pretty much didn't have to touch them. I fed them from the outside, they had their own water and the eggs came from here. And as for their droppings, they would drop right there. And then I would just, you know, scoop them up from time to time or, you know, give them to the plants as fertilizer. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And if you look on this side, um, this is the back side of the cage. If the sun was just hitting this, it would cook, it would heat up. And I don't want I don't want my birds to die. So what I did is I just put some 2x4. Goes all the way up and I just put some some wood on it. So this will heat up, but since it's hollow in the inside, um, you know it'll allow that ventilation to keep flowing through. And that's pretty much it. So this is rat proof, mice proof. So you don't you don't have to worry about them getting into your birds or animals whatever you have in you know this kind of setup but like i said i got a tree next door and the rats figured it out climbing this tree they can hop over and that's a different story uh, if you got any questions on this let me know uh if i don't get back to you asap uh i apologize uh, i don't really check youtube that often um but I will get back to you eventually. Thanks everyone. Have a good day.